Welcome back travelers. I want to talk to you today about three Canadian foods that you should try when you are in Canada. Now, these aren't going to be the healthiest suggestions, so bear that in mind. Your diet may take a bit of a hit. Actually, it's going to take a big hit. <laughs> it's going to take a real big hit. The first one on the list, and you've heard it, no doubt, it's puts in. This food is one of the things I'm obsessed about. <laughs> I try a puts in wherever I go. And I'm saying puts in, but in the rest of Canada outside of Quebec, it's called poutine. And if you say puts in, they're not going to understand what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> but every time I hear the word poutine, it makes my skin crawl being from Quebec. Anyways, it's French fries with gravy and cheese curds on top. It's absolutely delicious. It's so bad for you. Uh, <laughs> a lot of salt content. You're getting your sodium filled for a few years and uh, it's just, it's, it's so good. And I found that you can have it pretty much anywhere across Canada and there are a lot of different variations on it. I have found outside of Canada that poutines aren't really that good. They either try to be too artful or they try to be to like high class food and it's like the complete opposite it's things that you eat it's it's so greasy and delicious that like to sprinkle it with like oregano and all sorts of stuff is just no you don't you don't need that you don't need that at all what you need is if you're in canada any any local hockey arena worth their grain in salt will have a small restaurant in there or a little counter where you can get like steamed hot dogs uh, and french fries and normally a poutine and those ones are just the best. They serve it in like a styrofoam cup. Uh, after I film this video, I know where I'm going. <laughs> so number two, number two is actually seasonal. So what it is, is you go to what's called either Sugar Shacks, Sugar Bush, Cabane à Sucre. There are different variations, but what it is, it's a cabin or a little area out in the wilderness. Uh, not too far on the wilderness, but just the kind of on the outskirts of, of major cities and in rural Canada, where during the winter months they harvest maple syrup directly out of the trees. And when you go there, first of all, you eat like like kings and queens. Your breakfast that you go there for is phenomenal. And then after that, they bring you to essentially what it is. It's like a plank of, of snow and then they drizzle hot maple syrup and you roll it in on a stick from where on the snow and then you just put it in your mouth and it's delicious. <laughs> it's raw maple syrup and I don't think you can get any more Canadian than that. <laughs> the third thing that you have to try is smoked meat. Now in Montreal, Schwartz is considered to be one of the places, the iconic places to visit. Certainly smoked meat is served elsewhere in Montreal. There are quite a few good restaurants that serve smoked meat. I just think that you should make it a point of picking up a smoked meat sandwich where you can. It is delicious as well. Now those are the three foods that you have to try in Canada. But there's kind of a bonus food that I'm gonna mention. It's not even a food, it's a drink. <laughs> and that's milk. Now you're gonna be like, milk? Well, what's so special about your milk? Well, it's not what's in the milk that's special. People, especially people from the United States, seem to freak out <laughs> when they find out that we store our milk in plastic bags. And it blows people's minds. So I'm not even going to put a picture up of the milk. When you're, in, when you're in Canada, venture to a grocery store and just go to the milk section. You're going to want to take a picture and show your friends back home. For some reason, it's a weird thing that Canadians have bagged milk. <laughs> so have a look at that next time you're in the grocery store. Now, if you're Canadian, and I didn't, I didn't mention something that you like to eat, that you think people from abroad should try when they're in Canada, let me know in the comments below. And if you're abroad and looking at coming to Canada, what food are you most looking forward to trying? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out another one of my videos, you can do that right over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here. It lets you know when we upload new videos, but it also helps the channel out and it's greatly appreciated. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And until next time, safe travels.